How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Minecraft Evolution SMP server. My name of course is System Z and today we are just taking a stroll through downtown Evo. Just pondering as to why I am so lucky to have an audience as amazing as you guys. Guys, in the last couple of episodes, you guys have been giving me some tremendous support and I really want to thank you for that. Honestly, in the past three videos, I think we've made like 100,000 views, which is insane. And all the comments and stuff have been really helpful as well. So guys, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And in the last episode, we actually discovered our watcher clue, which is pretty obvious here. Uh, if you haven't already seen it, I really recommend you guys check it out because it is absolutely insane. And it is further down here underground, and it's just honestly marvelous. You really, really have to go check it out. But guys, I think everyone else has actually done their clues as well. So what I'd like to do is really quickly go check and see what the board looks like now. Geronimo! Okay, well, <laughs> the water saved us there. But uh, anyways, you guys have been saying that the board looks a lot like a map. And I didn't see it until now. What I'm doing is looking as if I were above ground looking straight down. And it makes a lot of sense, actually. With north, east, south, and west... It definitely makes a lot of sense. Zico building that way, of course, spawn. So from spawn, looking at the Zico building, I think this definitely makes a lot of sense as to where it is. And of course, each dash is 100 blocks. So we just have to go in the different directions to find those blocks. We're going to do this collectively as a group, though. So of course, I'm not going to look into it too much because I don't want to you know, find all the pieces before everyone else. But expect that soon. And that being said, we're probably going to be jumping portal soon. That is to assume, of course, we uh, actually find the blocks. <laughs> but in that version, I hope we actually get more building blocks. That's what I'm waiting on. I know a lot of you want to see me do the castle, and a lot of you want to see me do the underground you know, black market, but I just don't want to yet because obviously in the next update, we're going to have more content and a lot more blocks to explore. So I really, really want to just wait for that. So guys, that being said, today we're not really going to be doing any building and I know that you probably don't like to hear that but trust me it's going to be a good one no matter what it's probably going to be a shorter episode today just because I don't really have much plan but what I want to do is really two things I want to prep for the portal jump assuming again we do it soon hopefully we do and if we don't we'll do some other stuff but I do want to at least get everything organized and all that good stuff so I've been working on my chest down here as you can see but what we're also going to do is a little bit of a prank. Now, I've prepared something pretty spectacular, honestly. And this is going to be a prank against the property police, which you guys may know we're in a sort of a beef with as the Mafia. And a lot of you probably think and know that we've been silent lately and not really doing anything, or at least you thought we weren't really doing anything. Guys, we're working on something behind the scenes, and it is going to be absolutely amazing and never seen before here on the Evo server. And I think you guys are really going to love it once we do it. But what we need is about four paintings, or really a little bit more just to kind of play around with them. I have done something in Photoshop, which basically is, is going to make this really difficult to achieve because obviously I'm going to have to send the property police this texture pack, but hopefully they will comply and put it on thinking that I'm doing something generous for them. I'm going to try and make up some ruse, but let's see if I can get an example of what exactly I've done. So as you know, the property police building is completely made out of stone, and in the spirit of kind of downtown Evo-ish, you know, alleyway kind of stuff, I've done something really, really funny, and it's probably going to take a minute for me to get it, but let's see if we can get it here any second. Come on, lucky number. Boom. Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I actually did this. This is, uh, this is amazing. <laughs> In Photoshop, I have made graffiti that says property police stinks. <laughs> and I've got a couple of other designs too that really add to it. But honestly, it just looks so good. And it's a little hard to read, but hopefully they can kind of get an idea of what it says. The property police stinks. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do is go place this on their building and the sense of like graffiti that has been sprayed on and hopefully it turns out looking pretty good and hopefully they actually use the texture pack otherwise it's going to be really confusing as to why there's paintings all over their walls. <laughs> but guys I'm going to go ahead and start organizing my chest but in the meantime we're also going to go ahead and pull this prank off that way we can come back check out everything and be good to go. I don't know why I tried to sleep. 
It's obviously daytime. Guys, I'm gonna wait for a new day and we're gonna go ahead and get started on this. All right, guys, we've got a brand new day and the newly renovated property police station right in front of us. And you know what makes this extremely funny is the fact that they just renovated it and it's basically like we're throwing shade at them. And uh, that's what the mafia is all about. So, okay, this is where I wanted to do it. However, we've got this interrupted glowstone, which I think in the spirit of just, you know, vandalism <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and replace that with stone again but we need to see if we can't steal some so not only is this now vandalism but theft so do not do this in real life <laughs> but uh hopefully they won't mind i guess i don't know they're probably gonna care but you know what they're probably gonna charge us for the vandalism anyways so we may as well go in for the stone we just gotta see if they have any which oh yep they have plenty there we go okay let's go ahead and get these removed there we go and we'll try and keep that glowstone because you know it's really expensive over there at Minnie's Glowstone uh, Emporium or whatever it's called. I don't know what he named it. <laughs> but uh, hopefully they won't mind the small little change and hopefully nothing spawns in here. Let's go ahead and do that just in case. But yeah, if they come after me about the Glowstone, I'll definitely repay them for it. Uh, or maybe I won't in the spirit of this act. But <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's go ahead and see if we can't get one of these placed. I have two different designs and two small designs. So what I want to do is get one here, one up there, one there, and one there. Just a big square of graffiti. And basically the only way we're going really going to be able to do it is by getting started and placing these very small paintings and trying our best to get the graffiti and you know i really wish there was a way to oh hey look at that i really wish there was a way that we could uh you know switch through the paintings but obviously that's not even a new minecraft so uh we're still gonna have to wait for that no matter what <laughs> but yeah there's our first graffiti and it just looks so good because it blends in with the background so well like you can actually just see it there so it actually looks sprayed on which i absolutely love so naturally if we have a property police stinks one we've got to have one about the mafia right so <laughs> let's uh let's see if we can't get it we're gonna place it about here i'd say uh, the only problem is that I don't want them to fall. So this is going to be a little bit more difficult than I had originally hoped. Come on, it's almost there. I can feel it. <laughs> Have you guys ever placed these and then knocked it away on accident because you, you're kind of in the normal motion of doing it? And even when you get the one you want, you just knock it off. I've done that like three times and it's extremely annoying. <laughs> but hopefully we will find it soon. Come on, I really want to show off the design already. Uh, but luckily, with the power of editing, we can get it pretty much immediately. So no worries there, guys, because that won't be any issue at all. And uh, <laughs> just a whole bunch of rambling. To oh, nope. Okay, that's the same one. Whole bunch of... Oh, <laughs> there we go. I was going to say a whole bunch of rambling, but we got it anyways. And that, my friends, is pretty much the main set of graffiti. And now we just got to do the little smaller pieces. So this is what we've got. We've got Mafia Rules property police stinks which i absolutely love this like honestly it's so funny looking and i think when they see it they are absolutely going to love it despite the fact that it's a very cruel prank and hopefully they have a pressure washer to get this off or at least something to paint over with but uh <laughs> so the two small ones i have are a little weird i basically have uh, i don't even know if it's really going to be possible to get them but we can at least make it easier by doing this i have a dollar sign as you saw in an x that was very lucky so the, the idea here is that there's going to be an X there and then a dollar sign by ours. And I don't know. It's just to kind of represent the fact that the mafia is all about it. You know what I mean? We got everything. We got the money. We got the power. And we got the people. You guys are on our side, right? <laughs> Hopefully, because we got some really cool stuff coming up soon. And you guys are going to love it. But, uh, okay, this is the only problem, is the paintings start to act very weird. But hopefully we can get this one soon. So, <laughs> we just need the dollar sign now. Come on, you can do it, painting. All right, now if we can only get down, and the block lag on this server is so bad. There we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm absolutely in love with this, guys. I made it in Photoshop as a silly dream. And I have manifested it here on the property police's back wall. And hopefully they barely notice it. Hopefully they just walk by. And, and then they're just talking, and they're like, oh, wait a minute. Because <laughs> so I think it looks awesome. It really fits in awesome with a stone brick wall, or a stone wall, even. A uh, dollar sign to represent how awesome the mafia is, and an X to represent that the property police is going to be canceled out by the mafia. And speaking of which, guys, look at this. There's hidden meaning in here. It's rules with the Z, because, you know, System Z, and then M for Mini Mooka. 
hidden imagery and you didn't even see it <laughs> but guys that is all i've got for the prank now what i want to do unless we do want to put one on this wall no 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 i think it's perfect back here because originally i was thinking we do it all over the place but this is just kind of funny it's really really well placed so yeah, maybe we should do like a, a beat up car. No, no, <laughs> that's going a little too far. Guys, what I'm going to go do now is organize my inventory back at home and just kind of prepare for hopefully the soon portal jump. And uh, doing that, I will see you guys in just a moment. Well, guys, I have pretty much finished organizing my inventory. And, you know, we honestly have quite the selection of building materials, meaning we really need to get started on some of the projects we've been teasing for a while, like the palace, you know, finish the black market, finish downtown Evo, or at least what I'm working on in downtown Evo, and all that good stuff. But, guys, let me know what you would like to see outside of those projects. I'm really thinking long term here. I want to kind of go and build a base that's a little bit further out, sort of like Mini Muka has done. Just because I feel like it's nice to be around everybody, but it's also concerning because, of course, you start building in other people's space. Now, obviously, I'd still live here in Spawn, but I do want to, you know, work on something a little outside of anyone's territory so let me know if you have any cool suggestions as to what we could actually start working on at least you know in the next 20 episodes or so but guys like i said that is going to do it for today a very very short episode hopefully you enjoyed the little property police prank i thought that was pretty funny honestly but like i said guys we've got some really cool mafia stuff coming up and that on top of all the watcher clues there is a lot of action going on here on the server and uh, I really cannot wait to see where it all goes. But guys, make sure to subscribe if you did enjoy, especially if you don't want to miss, which you do not want to miss, Mafia Phase 3, which is coming soon. Guys, that is going to do it. My name, of course, has been System Z. You guys have been incredibly awesome. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.